Hey guys, Dr. Bowman here with Southwest Virginia ENT and Facial Plastics. Uh, please forgive give the uh, COVID non-haircut thing going on here. Um, hopefully that's going to uh, change in the near future as things start to open back up. Uh, anyway, I thought we're going to try to start a little video series about kind of common questions and common things that uh, come up in the office, in our practice, and um, kind of give just some answer hopefully some some commonly asked questions and give you a little bit of education um, as you would expect this is not specific medical advice directed for anyone and if you have any serious concerns about your health please of course contact your doctor or your local ENT for more information so what we're going to be talking about today is neck masses um, you know oh god I think I've got uh, I got a new lump in my neck that I never noticed before what could it be um, you know, is it cancer? That's pretty much what most people end up thinking. So we're going to uh, kind of talk through some of the more common things that come up, um, both um, uh, congenital and, and otherwise. So if you have swelling in your face and your upper neck that affects here, this area around um, the jawline and ear, that's probably your parotid gland. It can be inflamed or infected for a variety of number of reasons. Uh, one of the other salivary glands that frequently comes up that people notice is your submandibular gland. It rides up here, right underneath the jaw. It's usually um, about halfway uh, from the tip back to the angle here, uh, and it often, often gets inflamed um, both on its own, sometimes when you're sick and become more prominent, um, but is usually pretty easily cared for. Um, lymph nodes that come up in your neck usually do so here along this muscle called the uh, this let's see there it is there on the sternocleidomastoid muscle as it comes down um, lymph nodes can swell most commonly in response to infection but sometimes can be uh, involved with tumor um, or cancer and so that is a concern um, but it depends on many other factors uh, finally, your thyroid lives way down here at the base of the neck. Um, you can feel your, your voice box. And then down below that is where your thyroid lives. So unless it gets very large, uh, you typically don't see, uh, you typically don't see your thyroid, but maybe you can see or feel a little nodule. You'll know a thyroid nodule because if you swallow, you'll feel it move up and down under your fingers. If this is a uh, lymph node, it does not move when you swallow. So... Um, that's kind of some of the uh, basics um, of uh, neck masses. We'll go into more videos later about, you know, some more details on each one. But um, please ask any questions you may have in the uh, comment section down below. And thanks for your time and interest.